I've been shooting with both the Fujifilm X70 and the X100T for a while now. And the specs and pictures of the X100F are already leaked. Therefore, I'm ready to make a decision. Both cameras are excellently built, they feel solid and far from cheap. The X100 is the heftier of the two and has a slight upper hand in quality. The X70 on the other hand is much lighter and obviously smaller. On occasions where I didn't feel I wanted to drag along the X100T, the X70 was always there. It's been sitting in my jacket pocket since buying it. Both cameras have external manual controls, which is the way I like to shoot. Without it, none of them would even be under consideration. The ergonomics of the X100T is absolutely awful for my hands. I involuntarily keep pressing buttons all the time and the scroll wheel is my mortal enemy. I definitely prefer the toggle they have on the X70. A thumb grip makes it much better, without it I also feel I have to pinch the camera to keep it in my rather long hands, which is a pain due to the weight. After putting the half case on the X70 to beef it up, it feels very comfortable. The X100T has a nice viewfinder, which acts kinda like a rangefinder or a fully electronic. The later is perfect when shooting into the sun, so you don't go blind. No EVF on the X70, but it has a flip screen that also can be used for selfies. Also, in my opinion, an 18mm lens on an APS-C side sensor is so wide that a viewfinder is merely for looks. I rarely feel the need for that precise framing at such a wide focal length. And to be honest, it's only in low light or when shooting fast moving objects that I've ever found a reason to use the viewfinder on the X100T. For the same reason. It's a wide enough lens that framing isn't as critical like for example when shooting a 50mm on a Leica rangefinder. The tilt screen on the other hand is really good for stealthy low angled shots. People don't notice you pointing the camera at them at all. And if you like me have a short legged dog, well the benefit is obvious. Both have great sharp lenses, like I said the X100T has a 23mm f2.0 and the X70 a slightly slower but wider 18.5mm f2.8. For me and the way I shoot with these cameras the wider wins over the faster. The difference is very small in distance to your subject but the long depth of feel I can get with an 18mm is key for my shooting. A longer lens like the 23mm with a wider aperture will of course give slightly shallower depth of field if wanted. But it's not like it's impossible to get those kind of shots with an 18mm f2.8 as well. The X100T has a built-in ND filter which is awesome. But it can't shoot wide open at 1 4000th of a second. The X70 can and therefore at least one reason to have the ND is gone. Both can use crazy high flash sync speeds, but the X70 does it faster with a wider aperture. Images out of both cameras are pretty much identical in quality, dynamic range, low light and so on.
both have dead silent leaf shutters. But you know, that sound is fake. You can even change it. This is what the camera's mechanical leaf shutter really sounds like after you turn the electronic sound off. All in all, I really love both cameras. I even went so far that I got an X-T10 to see if it was a good compromise between the two. It's cheaper than both cameras, have the same image, can change lenses, have both a viewfinder and a flip screen. But nah, it was too unbalanced as soon as I put on a nicer lens. Great camera though, and I can really recommend it as a big option. But I was evaluating a small street camera. And as you might have guessed by now, I preferred the X70. It's small enough to always come along, the flip screen is so awesome for street shooting, it's cheaper, its image looks just as good, and the wider lens is welcomed for my style. With that said, I can easily recommend the X100T as well. And now when we know what the X100F is all about, I would say wait for it to be announced and then buy a used X100T from all the panicking early adopters looking to offload. The new higher resolution doesn't interest me and buying used is definitely the way to go with cameras. That's it. All of it just in my opinion based on what I do of course. Thanks for watching and check out my Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye.